to really the metal is being decided. So I'll hand things over to the arena host of Dave to use all 20 skaters. Expect a blistering start. And we'll come to that one shortly. The one yellow cap is the current World Cup leader. That is Andrea Giovannini. Two wins so far on the circuit for him this year. the very end with the main pack not able to organize and really get up a good chase. Well, we always many interesting things to watch here and that's one look right there. Giovannini being followed by Daniele Di Stefano and what's interesting there is earlier this season Di Stefano launched really a late attack on a final lap and had Giovannini right in his slipstream. It was almost like a lead-out man in the cycling sprint where Di Stefano was leading out Giovannini. Giovannini sat in the slipstream and then launched the late sprint and won. And Di Stefano also hung around to pick up a medal as well. So just one of the many things they got. I might see if Francis Timothy Lubino launches an attack. He's shown a few times that he's game to try to launch one out there. And Marcel Bosker have won on World Cup this season. It was one of the women's races earlier where there was a breakaway that had Marika Kronerud, and she ended up lapping just about all the fields. So there are only about four skiers who qualified as finishers, and the rest of them lapping, and it was disqualified. So they got zero World Cup points. And we are going to come up to. I believe get the bell, there it is. Sprint lap is on. We'll see if anyone tries to go on the attack. And there is a Dutch skater trying to come around the outside. It's the two Italians at the moment. It's Di Stefano, Bart Swing, lined up right behind him. And then Andrea Giovannini. Let's only kick him down to those three. Then it is Marcel Bosker. And I believe that's Gabriel Oder. Who is right behind them, the Austrian. And it's going to be Di Stefano leading out. Sprint number one. I believe he got in front of Livio Wenger, the Swiss skater who has been on the podium this year. Pardon the American, Carl McDermott Mustoe. And Bart swings in third. Now an attack coming. And then, hey, look, there it is. Timothy Lubino. The Frenchman trying to join in on this breakaway. I see one of the Canadian kits as well. And there's Peter Michael of the Netherlands as well. Connor Howe. Might be a bit of a dangerous attack because Howe, we know, is an elite 1500 meter skater. 
not much of a counter attack right away. A lot of looking around. There is that one Jenny Abodier right in front of the pack. And if he has a teammate in, his break, in the break rate, he might just try to shut things down to prevent any organization from building. Not a huge gap at the moment. Christian Gamma Ulekleid of Norway is closing up to try to make it a four man breakaway. But the main pack seems to have this one in control. There's not a lot of urgency at the moment. On the straight lap, they might let them go for a straight. It's Edith Live who's really pushing the tempo now. He's forcing all the others to come along with him. Ludino, right up into his sixth screen. And how? Now they have a little more urgency. Now they have a bit more of an advantage. Michael not really able to stay with them. It looks like it is Edith Live or Ludino. It's Ludino taking the points. Ludino you know, getting three points. Yeah, Edith Live. Yeah. On the updated standings, two men on two, two men on two, two men on one. It's the two Americans up in front. Yeah. Now perhaps some organization for me. Whenever there's a big compact field and a lot of guys are sort of not down in their position, they're sort of standing up and looking around, you know there's some uncertainty and that plays to the advantage of the breakaway. They have five seconds now. They get eaten up in a hurry, though. It looks like some of the jet skaters and the first things now. There's the yellow cap of Giovanni. Bart Springs is there. His teammate Di Stefano also there. And so the big guns really on the front. Vendor there from Switzerland also in the front. And he's drive is now just under four seconds. This one gets shut down quickly. There might be one more final sprint in them. Boster on the front. And it comes for one final sprint. Peter Michael of New Zealand leading things around. Right behind them, breathing down the neck of the main field. So now, really, one more sprint coming. Ludino going again. Edith Live. Right behind him. They just want to know he's there. And Ludino is going to take another three points. Edith Live second. He got four thirds. I think it is Paul and Hal, but now it's uh, it Michael who makes it. Pardon me. Hal is absorbed back to the main field, and now. The game is just about up. The quest for the main sprint comes down. Edith Lab goes wide. His attack is done. Still Lubino. I called him out early as one to watch because he is one who does not give up. Until the field is literally right there. And that's what's happening now. I'm going to see Lubino. He goes to him. The animator of this race picking up two sprint points. Now the race is on for the medals. Boster, Swing, Giovanni, Di Stefano, Wenger all there. All the regulars you'd expect to see at the podium. Four World Cup races. Every race bar one. It's been all Europeans. The only one. Oh, there is a crash. It's Edith Live who went down. That's taking one of the duck skaters out of the race. He just stood up behind it. Go. Now to the bell. The only four continent skater to be on the podium on World Cup this year. There's another crash and one of the Canadians down. And another skater down. And it is Chung Jai Wong. As I was just saying, the only four continent skater to be on the podium this year is Chung Jai Wong of Korea. He's leading it out right now. Swings was wise to it, spotted the danger. How things gone too early. It's Chung Jai Wong. Here comes Bart Swings. It's Chung Jai Wong. And another hard crash, Lydia Banger. This World Cup win, he was bronze, I believe, in Poland. Shang Jai Wan taking it today. He took the four continents a week ago. 
will await final results because there were skaters falling all over the ice. And we'll see if there are any rulings. I always wait until those results go up. And Bart swings. Still no World Cup wins this season, but once again, spotting the right opportunity and provisionally slotting in with the silver medal. Yeah. 